Hello everyone, welcome to my garage again. And this time we're gonna be replacing the digital display. Um, apparently some of these digital display, display uh, are working. Show the time and everything, but it are not saving the total hours. What I mean by that is that uh, like a car has an uh, odometer, you know, that counts the miles and keep it there so you know how many miles the cars has well these have the same thing but for some reason it's not saving the time every time i turn off and turn on the generator reset to zero so we're going to replace it we contact gem max for this and they send me a new display and that's what we're going to be doing check it out So everything started when I received a message from a viewer that says, uh, I received this unit last week. Unfortunately, the hours meter reset to zero once the unit turned off. I had to return the unit and wait for the replacement. Do you recall if your hours meter remains, the runs hours once the unit is turned off. So. I didn't realize about that until he messaged me and uh, I run the, the generator for over an hour and I could see that this display cycles between two times the current time and total time you know the total time is measured in hours the current time is measured in hours and minutes you know so after a one hour I turn off the, the generator and when I turn it back on, the current time is zero, that is normal, but the total hours time should set one or two, you know, depending on the amount of hours you have been running the generator, and it was zero again. So what I did, I contact Genmax, but I contact Genmax, Genmax in China because they have support here in US but I contact directly the manufacturer because I want to see how good is their support and I gotta tell you every time I email them every time they respond and they respond very fast so I was really surprised I sent a video of the the problem that I had with the generator and the guy uh, over the email told me that they could send me a new display to replace the one that I have if that was okay with me. And I said, of course, there is no problem. It's easier to chip uh, a display that is uh, probably like a half a pound or less than send this unit back and get a newer one. Of uh, again, other than that, the unit works perfectly. I'm very happy with the unit, you know. I just want to test the service and I got to say that they are very, very responsive. I got another message from somebody else that reads, love your videos. I am considering this unit. I saw another commenter mention it that Gen Max part are not available in the US and if it breaks, then it may be a hassle to get it fixed. Any thought? And uh, I responded to that person the same thing, like, hey, so far I had no problem with the support. Every question I had, I emailed them, they respond. Like I said, they have support here in United States, in California, but they also responded to me because I sent this comment to Gem Max uh, headquarters and they responded. Thank you for sharing. We hired Tomahawk Power in the US to provide the service for our customers. We have good relationship with this, this company, so we chose them. Actually, there are some other companies that contacted us. We are considering if adding more or just expand our current service team. So this is a new company, no doubt about it. And they are like any other company, you know, figuring things out and expanding their, their service because of course, like any other company, they just want to sell. That's, that's what they want to do. So they're going to 
uh, expand as they are growing at the, sa at the same time. Uh, again, I have no problem with this customer service. They are great. They sent me a new one. Took uh, probably like seven to 10 days to get it here. I got it on July 18th, 18. And today, that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna replace this thing, okay? So, let's start it. Okay. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna remove this front cover right here. How you remove this front cover? You have screws here, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I believe are ten. You can see it here. We're gonna remove all these screws around. Then you're gonna remove one screw that is here, inside here with a I believe it's a Phillips screw. And uh, then you gotta remove the handle. You gotta remove this, this nut right here, and this nut right here. Once you remove that, everything come off, we're gonna have, have access to the panel on the back. Let's do that. This one. Phillips, screw. Screws around the panel. Here is the display, okay? This is what we are gonna replace right now for what I see. Let's see if I can get a better angle. Let's see. There you go. What I see, you have one screw here or one nut, another nut, the other side, one plug, two plugs, that's all you gotta do. That's what we gotta do now. Okay, we got it there. Now, we gotta test it before we close it to make sure that it's working. Okay, this is the moment of truth. Let's see. Ooh, there it is. Four hours. So, which is good. We already have four hours running. This one is good. So, now I'm gonna put all these back together and we are good to go. So there you have it, that's how you replace a digital display on a Gen Max GM9000 IED. 
Now we have a fully working total hours meter um, for the generator. It's pretty simple. Once you get behind the control panel, two screws, two plugs, you put everything back together and you're good to go. Again, guys, uh, thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful for you, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't so far. And uh, see you in the next video. Bye.